Well, the U.S. and the U.K. are keen to see democracy take root in Iraq so as to justify their illegal invasion and occupation. In fact, there's a humanitarian disaster unfolding. When I went back to Iraq this time, for the first time in seven years, I was really saddened to see how broken the country was. At the same time that there was this great sense of despair at what Iraq had become post-invasion, I did come away with a sense of hope, particularly from the artists and the young people and some of the women I spoke to who have really borne the brunt of years of sanctions and war and occupation. Their spirit of resilience and survival was, was quite inspiring. But as for the future of Iraq, it's a long road to recovery. This is a country that has seen its civil society battered by 12 years of draconian UN sanctions exacerbated by despotism and Saddam's police state, followed by brutal invasion and occupation. 70% of Iraqis don't have clean drinking water. There's at least 70% unemployment, a million widows, an army of orphans. Until the, the needs, the basic human needs, of those people, of this growing army of the displaced and the dispossessed, until their needs are met, there'll be no peace in Iraq. It's that simple.